This video is going to show you how to flash your HTC One back to stock. Now this particular RU that we'll be using is actually for the Sprint variant. You'll have to go on there and find the variant meant for your phone. I looked in the AT&T threads and I couldn't find one for the AT&T model. I will do my best to link to the threads that contain the RU used for like, say the T-Mobile, the AT&T, uh, when the Verizon gets the HTC One or rebrands it, whatever name they're gonna rebrand it, etc. So I'll do my best to link to the threads for each variant, like for the Sprint variant, I will name it like Sprint XDA thread or something. So I'll try to label it appropriately, but this RUU that we'll be using is specifically for the Sprint variant. If there is an RUU meant for like the AT&T version, then it's the same exact instructions. You can flash it the same exact way. Now, there's something wrong with my device. I'm just simply making this video because a lot of people have been requesting it and it's just something I need to do because we're all at one point gonna need to flash your phone back to stock. Like my silver HTC One that I did a video on, I had to relock it, flash it back to stock, and then I took it to Sprint. So I took it back to them, relocked, and completely stock, no root access. So then I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now I'm gonna make an Android backup of my current ROM because I've gotta do a review of this ROM and so far, I really like it, the battery life's great and all. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna make a backup, I'm gonna store it on this flash drive, I'm going to relock the bootloader, flash it stock, and then after the video, I'm gonna unlock it again, install Twerp Recovery, and then restore my Android. So I'm, after this video, my phone will look exactly like this again. Oh, my second channel real quick, I posted a video using this TV remote, and uh, I showed you how it works, and I've, act I've actually added all of my TVs in here, and it also works with my Vizio soundbar, so, uh, check that out. It's on my second channel, Josh is nice. The links will be in the description. But I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my flash drive. Well, no, let me reboot to recovery first. I'm gonna do it the easy way, and then I'll show you how to do it the harder way. It's not hard, it just takes more time. The easy way is to open up Goo Manager from the Play Store, choose reboot to recovery, and bam, look at that. We're rebooting into recovery. This isn't gonna be needed for you, unless you want to. I'm just doing this so I can go back, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. I go to backup, and then I choose boot, data, and system. For backup name, I'm gonna name it Viper ROM. I'm gonna press go, and then I'm gonna choose the OTG, my flash drive, because when I flash this thing stock, and then I unlock it again, both times it's gonna reset it, so I'm storing my Android on a flash drive. That way the flash drive doesn't get erased because I'll unplug it after this video. Looks good to me, it says right there what you're gonna be naming it, and just swipe it back up. Now that's it, I'm not gonna show you the rest. I'm going to let this finish, and then I'm gonna show you how to manually get into Fastboot, and we're gonna switch over to the computer, and I'll throw the phone up on the screen. All right, we are good to go. My whole phone, everything is backed up on this flash drive. Again, when we run the RUU, it's gonna reset your phone completely, and then when you unlock, it also resets your phone. So if you store your Nandroid on your internal storage, you're gonna kiss that goodbye when you do all this. So when you store it on a flash drive, it's, you just, it's so simple. Reboot, power off, and then unplug the flash drive. And it, your Nandroid's not going anywhere. Now I'm gonna sh manually show you how to get this thing into fast boot. Hold the volume down in the power button, keep holding it, and then You'll see unlocked and tampered. We'll need to go down to fast boot and press power. Now we are in fast boot mode and the RUU should work just fine. All right, we're at the computer now. Like I've said before, my phone is backed up on my flash drive and after this video, I have every intention of going back and restoring that. I'm only doing this video because I wanna show you how to do it, not because I need to. So in the description for the Sprint variant, you're gonna see this thread right here by OMJ. So huge shout out to OMJ for providing us with this RUU. You'll only need to really download the first one. This is the one I've downloaded already and I've used already and it worked just fine. So you'll click on it, there's the Android file host. You can take this MD5 and you can copy it. And when this is done, you will click download and it will save that to your computer. It is a fairly large file, so it might take a minute to download. So we're gonna go ahead and save time, and look, bam, how quick was that? <laughs> I 
I'm going to right click, send to, win MD5 sum. It's just a MD5 verifier. So I can make sure that it's the same exact MD5 that he, that the, that link, you know, said. And compare. They are the same. Sweet. So when you open this up, there's going to be a folder inside it. Uh, I use 7-zip. It's completely free. It's not a trial. You don't have 30 days to activate it. It's open source like Android, and I'm a big fan of open source stuff like um, Open Office and etc. So just drag it to your desktop. Just Google 7-zip. It's the very first link. Download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off my thing so you don't get no notifications. And yeah, it's okay. That's downloaded. It's so, so simple. It is, literally. Just double click this, that. It opened on my second monitor, so let's do that again. Double click this, and you'll see this setup. Now, I have UAC disabled. How you'll do that is you'll just type in UAC, and then user account settings, and then I have mine set to never notify. Now, I'm in, you know, I have a vast uh, premiere, or whatever it's called. And I'm also someone that's been using a computer for a long time, so I could probably even run without an antivirus. But, so yeah, I don't have to, but if you have your UAC enabled, you'll need to run as administrator. And then it's going to do all this crazy stuff right here. And then the, this does take a minute, so yeah, just bear with it. Okay, so let's move this over here so you can see the phone itself. I'll put it up on the left. And then I understand, next, and then uh, I completed the steps indicated above, next. Oh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Um, I almost forgot something. You will need to go to your, wherever you have your ADB, you'll need to right click. Choose open command window here and type fastboot OEM lock. And that's going to lock your bootloader. Now, as you'll see, the device is currently rebooting. <laughs> I almost, if you do this with your bootloader unlocked, it won't, it won't go right. See, it took us back to bootloader and it has like an extra warning thing at the top there. It says tampered, then relocked, then security warning. That's fine. Now we can continue with, I completed the steps above. Now, if you don't have the Android SDK installed, in my video on how to unlock the bootloader and, and how to root it, Big Daddy 619 made a thread, and he has a zip that you can download that has all those files in it. It has your custom recovery, your root, your ADB, your fast root. It has all those files. So you can go to my how to unlock and how to root video, which I'll have a link in the description below, where it'll take you to all my HTC One videos, and you can just click on that video and... Yeah, so let's press next, verifying the information on your PDA phone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, and we're just going to go over here and press update. Oh, quit moving the thing. I'm trying to have the phone on the left. I'm trying to make it all neat, and it keeps moving the darn window. All right, so we'll just press next again. And then press next again. Well, okay. Gonna have to make the phone small, I guess. Or maybe it'll fit on the left. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so since we're in fast boot, it had no issue at all putting the phone in fast boot since we were already there. It's This is where it's gonna erase everything on the phone. Like I said, if you stored that Nandroid on your internal storage, you just wasted time doing the Nandroid because it's erasing your phone completely. This phone, it's going to be just like you bought it from the Sprint store. I mean, no modifications if, if something was completely messed up, but if you could still get into fast boot, this will fix it. This will unbrick your phone if you have a soft brick. If you have a hard brick and your phone doesn't go into fast boot, then you just kind of, you're, you're out of luck there. In that situation, you just got to, you know, am I going to lie and say my phone just randomly didn't start up? and have it replaced, or are you gonna tell the truth and pay $600 for a new phone? That's up to you. I'm not recommending you lie. I'm just, you know, it's, it's up to you. I can't control what you do. Oh, um, yeah, 
please pay attention to the clock down here because I'm trying to have the phone on the left so that way you can see the clock. All right, look at that. It is done. Our HTC One is rebooting, and when it does, it'll take you through all the normal startup screens like uh, signing into all your accounts, you know, choosing if you want to restore your device or start from scratch, just like you did from the Sprint Store. And if, if you're taking it in for warranty purposes, then there's no need to sign into your accounts. Just hit skip on all the options, and, you know, that's that. I wouldn't worry about signing into all your accounts if you're going to be taking it to Sprint because who knows if they don't like I don't, your Google accounts on a phone that they have in their possession. So it's up. I wouldn't do it. All right, so check this out. We just flashed it stock. Have done anything since I just stopped the you know turned off the Camtasia, and this is what you see: start, and then you can sign in. I'm just going to choose next. Uh, start from scratch next, skip, I'm going to go next, and then I'm going to skip, and then I'm going to go okay, and then I'm going to next, agree, ne or no, next, HTC One. Alright, now your phone is 100% stock. Um, on this part, you can just press continue, and then choose restart, and it doesn't do it. Again, like all that that I'm talk telling you right now, I've already done in my other videos, like the HTC One first setup, and uh, I've got an unboxing of the black one, the silver one, I've got so many other HTC One videos, and there's going to be more, trust me. I've got my review of Viper ROM coming, uh, right after I'm done with this video, I'm actually going to uh, unlock it again, install custom recovery, restore the Nandroid from my flash drive, and I'm going to be rocking Viper ROM since, you know... It's, uh, I don't know, I just, Viper Boy's pretty awesome, and he's been doing ROMs for a while now. Anyways, if this video helped you flash your HTC One back to stock, please click that like button. It's just a little click, but it lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I've got many more videos on the way. I've got many videos that I've already done. I'll be getting the Galaxy S4 here in the next week or two. Um, I'm hoping to get it on the 10th, and then I'll have a video comparing the S4 to the HTC One, giving you my honest opinions of both devices. So yeah, please subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out. I almost forgot to show you. This is what it looks like after you've flashed it back to stock, and it's not unlocked. It's relocked. It will never say locked again unless we get S off. And someone like Regal and Awe makes a bootloader customizer tool that makes it so you can customize the text to make it say locked, even though it's not really locked. But that's if we get S off, and that's if Regal and Odd ever gets a uh, HTC One. But as of now, it's going to say relocked, and you can take it to Sprint, and it's you know HTC. You void your warranty with HTC, but you didn't void it with Sprint since it's now stock. And even if it wasn't, if it was still unlocked, they would probably lock it and try to flash it stock and everything. But anyways, that's what it looks like after you flash it back to stock and you've relocked your bootloader. And that's how quickly I'm back to having freaking custom recovery and having an unlocked bootloader and everything. This is like, I think 30 minutes or less after I did the video. This is going to be at the very end. I'm going to hook up my flash drive real quick. And then I'm going to go here to re... No, not wipe. I'm going to go here to restore, I'm going to choose my USB OTG, press back, Viper ROM, and then I'm going to swipe to restore and let it do its thing. I had to use the restroom, so this took a, I was gone for a little bit longer than it actually took, so. Check that out. That's the Viper ROM boot screen that I did a video on just yesterday. That's going to be my HTC One playlist that I keep talking about. That'll be in the description below. I'm including this at the end just to show you how quick it is to get back to where you were after flashing stock. I love Android and I always will. Everything is just the way it was before I flashed it stock.